Okay, so here is another unboxing. Now, you watched a video of me unboxing the Will's uh, new long 165 watt aquarium light. Now, I didn't do a review on that light, I just did an unboxing. Now, as I'm unboxing this, I'm going to tell you a little story of what happened and uh, a reason why I didn't do a follow up on that video uh, with the review of it hanging over my tank is because the light absolutely sucked. Now, I left the review on eBay and uh, basically it wasn't a very good review. I felt that I was being lied to. The light was not 165 watts and I don't think and they come back to me on the review and said they apologized and sent me an email and stated that uh, sorry you're right the light wasn't 165 watts it was only 113 watts. So, they sent me out this light for free in replacement stating that this is a full 165 watt light. Um, so I'm just going to open this up with you guys to see what they sent me and I'm going to go from there. I didn't pay a thing for this light. I would never buy another one of those lights. Uh, you'd never get me to buy one. So I do have another light coming that's actually going to be for my aquarium. And this one here was sent out from the company of Wills. Uh, and basically, they said that they want to make it right. So, I don't know what they sent. Let's just have a look. So, so far, so it looks like here's the packaging. It says Wills Aquarium. And of course, it's made in China. As you can see right there, so uh, Will's Aquarium it says on this side right here. So apparently, this light here is supposed to be brighter than the previous light. Now this one I'm going to plug in, and I'm going to turn on with you guys, just so you will see what I have here. Okay, so this is the, looks like the same light they I purchased on Amazon. Uh, let's take it out. Take it out of the packaging. And we'll just set it to the side. Inside you get a, a cable and you get the hanging mounts. So let's just set that to the side. Move the light over here. Now this is quite familiar. This is a uh, Will's uh, Long. They're, they call it the Will's New Long 165 watt light. And as you see there's their branding right here in the front. And it says Aquarium Light. And then you have your white balance and you have your blue balance. So you show that right there. And you can run these both individually. You can keep the blues on or off. You can adjust your blues to whatever setting you want. And then you can adjust your white up to whatever max 10. And as far as I'm concerned, the last time I unboxed this light and hooked it up, I adjusted this up to uh, 10 and put it on my aquarium. And it wasn't very bright at all. Like I was not pleased. Um, as you can see right here, you can daisy chain these lights. And that's where the story comes in a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but here's the, the plug-in. Okay. So you can daisy chain these. Now when they daisy chain these lights, and you've got two or three lights, it's supposed to go into a power saving mode. And when you daisy chain, and it goes down to 113 watts. That's what they state on their site. So it goes into some, some kind of a power saving mode for the light. So, as far as I'm concerned, we have one light, it should put out 165 watts. If you have two lights, you daisy chain them, then they go into a power saving mode to 113 watts each. Um, in the case of the last light I had, that was not the case. So, I want to plug this light in just to see how bright it is. 
see if it makes any difference. So let's just uh, open the cord here. And this is another thing I don't like either. Uh, the cord. Four feet. Four foot cord. This is another... This is ridiculous. So this is a hanging light. And you have a four foot cord. Like, come on. Let's make a little bit of sense with the product. I mean, I can understand... Why wouldn't they send you a six foot cord? Or a twelve foot cord? And then sent you little cords that's maybe a foot long to data chain them like this is ridiculous a four foot cord like now i'm gonna have to go buy an extension cord to plug this into i know it may be minor to some people but it's ridiculous like this is going to be hanging above my aquarium and it's going to be above my aquarium probably around uh almost a foot and a half and then you got this to reach down to behind your aquarium to plug into your bar. I mean, whatever. Okay, so make sure I recommend this with all lights. Make sure there's absolutely no power turned on to the bar itself uh, before you plug in because you could possibly pop a fuse or something. So uh, be careful with that. So let's actually get into the light fixture here. Here is the white and here is the blue. You also have two fans on top, as you can see right here. There's one there, one there, and here's your four mounting uh, brackets to hang your light. Now, if you read right here, I'm going to do it upside down, but you can see it. It says model number, it says input voltage, and it says power, 165 watts. Seriously. Now, when I did my review on this light, and I sent it to Amazon and did an, a review on the light there, and left a, you know, a bad review, uh, I basically just stated on the ad that this light uh, is not a 65 watt light. Uh, I call out BS on it. So the company got back to me and they said, you know, blah, blah, they made a big story up about the light. Saying no, the light is not 165 watts, it's only 113. It states it in the description. Well, no, it doesn't state that in the description. You're selling a light in the title, it says 165 watt light. And then in the description down further, it states that the light has a daisy chain mode, power saving mode. So when you plug in other lights, then it the power consumption goes down to 113 watts, which would make sense because you're putting more than one. This main fixture right here should be 165 watts, period. Then if I go hook up a daisy chain, another light, then it will be 113 watts per light. So I don't understand what they're trying to do. Uh, they didn't like my review. They sent, like I said, they sent this out free. So let's just turn this light on. So you get a main switch over here on the side. Now the power is going to the bar. Hear the fans kick in. Let's listen. Phew, it smells like it's... It smells burnt right out of the fucking package. Excuse my language. Anyway, then fly... Listen to the fans. Now, mind you... We'll stand back. Listen. You got three or four of those above your tank all running at the same time. What are you going to think of that? Let's just turn it off. Turn it back on so you can tell us the fans. Hmm. 
Now I assume these fans run all the time. Which I can see you're going to have to replace fans in these quite regularly. Okay. So anyways, you heard how loud the fans were. It does push out a fairly good decent amount of air out of the grills in the front and back. Okay. So we'll stand this up and we'll turn it on. Now, we'll turn the whites on first. Oh, okay, now. <laughs> well, what a difference. <laughs> what a difference. Now, that's full blast. Here's the blue. We'll just turn around and look on the bed here. Now, <laughs> I cannot get over the difference of this light. The other one wasn't as bright as this, you guys. I am not even lying. Like, okay. So we'll start out. So here is about one and a half okay we'll shine the light on the bed we're going to go up to three there's three we're going to go up to four there's four let's go up to max you know there's really not no difference really from here's four and you crack at the mats. There really ain't that much of a spike there. So let's just turn a little bit of blues on with that. That's full blue. That's full white. Let's turn the blues down. Two that are barely on. Blues are on too. Whites max. Let's stand back away from the light here. You can see me in the mirror there. So, that's the light. It is pretty bright. I don't know what to say. I would love to try this out on my aquarium. But I gotta hang a damn thing. Now this light is definitely brighter than the previous model that I had. I will admit it right away, just by turning it on. But one thing I do notice, that going from 10 to 4, really ain't that much of a difference there, is there? There is a little bit. Now, let's turn off the whites. Crank up the blues. You can almost see the difference when you're cranking it up. It's like it adjusts to the settings that you're putting it on. Watch. See? See it go down? So, I would like to take and hang this on my aquarium, a temporary hang, just so you guys can see it. 
Now, my aquarium is a 75 gallon. I would need two of those to hang over my tank. Now, these are 21 point something inches long. They're 21 point inch, 21 inches long, and uh, I'd be 42 inches. So I would need to hang this light about probably roughly six inches above my tank. And hanging these is just a pain in the butt. You need to go mount holes in your walls and get brackets. But let's just turn this down. Now there's no heat. Oh yeah, you can feel the heat now. Now you put your hand in front of that. My hand's about probably two inches away from it. You can definitely feel the heat. So having two fans built in on this unit is probably a must. Oh yeah, you can feel a lot of heat. So people that's mounting, they're not even mounting, they're just laying them around the glass. That cannot be good for your frame. That's ridiculous. Turn the blues off. The heat is not as bad. Oh, as soon as you turn those blues up, boys, there's some heat coming. Let's turn off the whites. Wow, do those blues ever throw some heat. Coral? Hmm. I can see these being a really good coral light, yes. Uh, let's see, whites. I don't know. So you got some off whites here. You got blues, so you got two offs, green, and two reds. And then the rest are bright white. Yeah. So, I guess the question is you have to ask yourself do you want to hang a light? One. Two, are you going to be able to put up with the fans? Now, if you have these in a display case, uh, I can see not like where the lights go up into a hood. That would probably get quite warm. So you would need this light to be out in the open for it to get lots of air. Um, them fans sitting in the living room over your aquarium. Now this is just one. Anyway. I don't know. I would like to mount this above my aquarium, some kind of temporary mounting solution, just to have so you guys can see what it looks like on the aquarium. Now, I do believe I'd have to have this at least six inches above my aquarium to displace the light evenly across my tank. Those fans run constantly. They don't shut off and on. So that's the Wills news with new Wills long aquarium light. It's supposed to be 165 watts. The last one I got was not that bright. I will say that for sure. Um, I would have to contact the gentleman there that uh, sent this light to me. And if I was to want to use this light over my aquariums, I would have to have another light like this one because the ones they're selling on Amazon, they're not 165 watts. Or I received the dud, <laughs> one or the other. But even he stated that the light's 113 watts. 
<sighs> I don't know. So anyways, let me get back to you and I'll figure something out about putting this light up and I'll do a quick video. Uh, just with one light, it's not going to have two, so I know it's not going to really make any sense. But, hey. I wanted to share this with you guys. And uh, I know since I bought the first light, I mean sent it back, it's been a few weeks and the radiance of this light went down quite fast. It went from almost five stars, it was four and a half star light, down to uh, three stars. So, I know there's other people out there that's bought this light. We can start some kind of discussion down below in the uh, comment section. Uh, you bought this light, what kind of experience are you having with this light? Is the light working for you? Uh, do you like the light? Uh, if you had any problems with the light, um, if you experienced a brightness issue like I have, you know, come on, let's start a little discussion here in the, in the comments down below because I'm pretty sure there's other people that just bought this light. So let me figure something out and I'll get back to you.